<laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so I'll start with how we met because it's kind of funny. Well, we found out our high schools were playing each other in like the fourth, third or fourth round. I can't remember. Baseball oh, playoffs. Yeah, yeah, baseball playoffs. And my high school was seeded number one and yours was like 15th or something. Like last. Like, and then they 10 run ruled us. So I, we had already been like talking a little bit and I was like, yeah, like we're totally gonna be friends in school. Well, that was it. Yeah. MK ghosted. <laughs> I didn't talk to her after that because I was so mad we lost. Here we are now, about to graduate. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> I know. It's wild. Wow, I like actually found like that one best friend that college gives you. And I mean, my mom always says like your college friends are like your forever friends. So I was like, all I need is one of those. And I definitely <laughs> found that with Emily. Like we went home for a little bit during the pandemic, but then we got to come back and like, you know, do the whole socially distance thing together and navigate um, senior year in the middle of a pandemic. And I think we had to find like unique ways to spend time with yeah. each other, whether it was like cooking dinner together one night or playing cornhole or whatever yeah. it was, um, since we couldn't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. But I think those were like some of the most fun times yeah. of this past year. That's just been crazy, but yeah. Like, much needed in this year. So much change, yeah. yeah. But there were times that I was just in bed like crying and MK just held me and she just <laughs> sat there and listened to me if I needed to talk or if I didn't want to talk, she just laid there with me. And I think moments like that, like I knew that that's my best friend and that's somebody who was always going to be there for me. Like I think, I think this past year especially I've noticed um, I'm so proud of just how like bold and courageous you've become in the past year or so. Like you're not afraid to speak your mind and you know what you want to stand up for. The woman you've become and like the powerful leader you've become and like the president of ASAP. So proud of you. Oh God. Um, but I know I'm not the only person who looks up to you. <laughs> you're make me emotional. I did my makeup today. <laughs> okay, don't cry. Well, don't. <laughs> I mean, you might. Do my best. <laughs> no, you can. You can if you want to. This is what I said in about you. I didn't know if you knew this. <laughs> I said I'd like to nominate my best friend Emily Barefoot. We've been best friends since freshman year. Our story dates back to high school, where mutual friends set us up to potentially be roommates. Um, this is where you might cry. So, okay. <laughs> let me prepare myself. Yeah. Um, so I, to know Emily is to truly love her. Um, Emily gives her whole heart into whatever she's doing, and I really think that's what sets her apart from everyone else. She has a smile that lights up any room and makes anyone feel seen and loved. She may be the best listener I know, and she's always there for me when I need her. Finding a friend like Emily has been my biggest blessing during my time at State, and I can't wait for our friendship to grow throughout the years as alumni. I'm so lucky NC State gave me such a gem for her best friend. <laughs> that's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me cry. <laughs> I cry when I see you cry. So that's not good. All right. Mindset. I'm scared. <laughs> I'd like to nominate my best friend, Mary Catherine Kinley, for the best friend video. My friendship with NK started back in senior year of high school. We had both been put into a newly admitted NC State group chat. That freshman year, I had struggled with making new friends. There were times that I wanted to leave NC State thinking that it was not the right place for me. And it devastated me thinking that the school I'd loved since I was a little girl may not be what I thought it would be. There are many lonely nights in my Brigal dorm room and all I wanted and needed was a friend. My very introverted self took a leap of faith and asked MK if she wanted to get ice cream after crew one night and without hesitation, she said yes. I was surprised to find out that she too struggled a lot to find friends her freshman year. And that was the start of our friendship. She is now my best friend and we do absolutely everything together. She challenges me every day to step out of my comfort zone and be bold and courageous. I know that she is a lifelong friend and someone who I would not have made it through college without. God placed her in my life exactly when I needed her, and I can never thank her enough for the impact she has had on me and my college experience. I think our friendship is just an amazing example of how one person can truly change your life, and in my case, kept me at NC State. Fun fact, we also date best friends now. Yeah, we do. <laughs> so, if they're watching this, hey. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> That one genuine friend, not just like, I mean, you could have 10 genuine friends, but I definitely think all you need is one. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. <Aww. laughs> Love you forever. Oh my goodness. 